Hello, and welcome to part 6, Different Ways to Begin a Commutator. In our last video, we started looking at conjugates, and if you missed that video, go ahead and click here to get back to part 5. We've already looked at this, our basic starting position. Uh, you'll recall that uh, we can get to this position, uh, beginning with a solved cube, by doing our commutator two times on the right side. Okay, and that brings us to this uh, look. Okay, I also mentioned to you that the reason the commutator works from this position is because of this first corner, the red, white, and blue corner. And I mentioned how uh, we're able to solve this corner because it's already oriented correctly. The white sticker on top matches the white center. In this video, I want to show you a couple other ways that we can begin our commutator. So let's look at a new situation, and I'll ask you to pick up your cube and do this along with me. Let's go ahead and take our cube and hold it with the orange side in front. And now I'm going to have you do your commutator on the right side, just one time. So we do our eight moves, and our cube should look like this. Okay, go ahead and turn the cube around, and we'll hold it with the red in front. Now, if we look at the left side of this cube, You'll notice that I have a corner on top, which is oriented correctly, right? The white sticker matches the white center, okay? And I can see by looking at this that if I were to perform my commutator on the left side, it would solve that first corner, okay? But, as I mentioned before, there are going to be other options available, okay? I can actually be begin my commutator with either this corner or this corner. So let's look at this one first. If you were to look at this corner, which is white, green, and orange, and I were to say to you, is it oriented correctly, you would probably say no. And you'd be correct. It is not oriented correctly for the white side. Okay? But, notice this sticker here. This orange sticker matches the orange center, which means this piece is oriented correctly for the orange side. If I were to hold a cube with orange on top, I can see that this corner piece is going to be oriented correctly. If I were to perform a right side commutator, this piece would move here. Okay, So that piece is actually oriented correctly, meaning it would allow us to begin our commutator. Okay, And that's what we're looking for here. We're looking for pieces that allow us to start the commutator. Let's look at the third corner here. This one is white, blue, and orange. Is that one oriented correctly? No, it's not. It's not oriented correctly for the white side or for either of these two sides. Okay, But we can actually still use that corner. By performing a conjugate, I can move this white sticker up to the white side, and that will make it so that it's oriented correctly. All I have to do is just turn this side up. Now I've got that white sticker matching the white center. That tells me that this piece is oriented correctly. And as you can see, if I perform a con uh, commutator now on the right side, this piece will move here, just like that. Okay. So on your cube, I want you to do the same thing. Okay. You should have this situation already. Let's go ahead and perform that com uh, conjugate to move this white sticker here. And now it's on the right side, which in this case is the orange side. Okay. If I were to perform my commutator right now, I would solve this first corner. Okay. But you remember how we said we don't want to just perform, uh, we don't want to just solve one corner. We actually want to solve all three of the unsolved corners. Where is that third unsolved corner? I see one here, I see one here, and I see, oh, okay, there it is. It's kind of hiding in the back. Okay. Now, in order for me to solve all three corners, you'll remember that something else has to occur, okay? Having this first corner oriented correctly is not enough. I also need to think about the piece that's going to replace this piece when this blue and orange piece moves here. What piece is going to go here? Well, let's take a look. It's going to be the white, green, and red piece. Yes, white, green, and red. That corner is going to go here. And here it is, white, green, and red. Okay? But in order to solve this, I need 
to make sure that this piece is located in the front. You'll remember that that's a requirement. Okay. Now, if you were to look at this side and I were to ask you, okay, what color do you need here? You might say the orange, right? You might say orange because this is the orange side. And most of the time you'd be right, but not in this case, okay? Because if you remember with our conjugate, we changed this side of the cube. When we brought this down, instead of needing orange here to match the orange, now we need white to go here, okay? Which white? Well, again, the white, green, and red corner, which is right here, white, green, and red. So before I can begin my commutator, I need to do a second conjugate, right? I already did one conjugate to put this corner in position. Now I need to do a second conjugate to move this white sticker to the front, which in this case is blue. So I rotate it over. Okay, hopefully you're still with me. So we perform two conjugates, and now we are set up to do the commutator. But we also need to remember something. After we do our eight move commutator, I am going to have to undo both of my conjugates, which means when I'm done, I'm going to have to move this piece back and then this side of the cube back, okay? Because those are my first, those are the two conjugates that I performed. So let's take a look at what it looks like. You might want to just watch me do it first, okay? Because this can be a little bit tricky, and then we'll do it a second time and you can practice it, okay? But if your cube looks like this, you're going to start with your eight moves. One, two, three. Notice nothing changes there. The fourth move is always rotating that corner into position. That's four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm done with my commutator. Now I just need to fix the cube by undoing those two conjugates. The second conjugate and the first conjugate. Okay? So let me get back to that position and we'll do it one more time together. And what did I say I did? Oh, I was starting with orange in the front and I did my commutator on the right side. Okay? Then we took the cube and we held it with blue in the front and now I need to do my first conjugate which is moving this white corner over. That white corner is now oriented and it'll move here. We said we don't need orange here, we need white here. And here it is, the white sticker. So that white sticker needs to be in front. Okay, double check, make sure your cube looks like that. And let's see if we can do it again together. Okay, first we're just going to do our eight moves. One, two, three. Four is always bringing that corner up. Five, six, seven, eight. That's the end of my commutator. And now I undo the conjugates. That's the second conjugate I did, and this is the first. And that takes us to the solved cube. Okay? You might, at this point, uh, you might want to pause the video, take another look at that, practice it again uh, if you're not really comfortable with it. I know I threw a lot at you that time with two different conjugates, so don't worry about pausing the video, going back, and just practicing that a little bit first. Okay? Um, but let's look at a couple other things uh, now at this point. Um, I want you to go back to your basic starting position, okay? And again, we get to that basic starting position by taking our cube, red, white, and blue on the right, and doing our commutator on the right side once and twice, okay? So there's our basic starting position. Just double check, make sure yours looks like that. We know from this basic starting position we do not need any conjugates, right? If we perform our commutator right now, all three corners will be solved, okay? Why? Why is that possible? Well, we said again for two reasons. One, this white corner matches the white center, okay? And it moves right there. And also because we talked about this blue piece matching uh, this blue sticker needing to go here, and it's already in the front. Okay, but what I didn't mention to you about this basic starting position is that we can actually begin our commutator not just with this first corner, but with either this corner or this corner. So let's look at this second corner here for just a moment. Okay, 
again, if you look at it, you'll see it is not oriented correctly for the white side. This white sticker would have to be on top. But, do you see something else? Yeah, this red sticker here does match the center, red, red. So like we saw a minute ago, this corner, if I hold it like this with, with red on top, this corner is oriented correctly. And by performing a left side commutator, I would solve that first corner. Okay? Let's look at the third corner piece. Here we have that orange, blue, and white piece again. Okay? As you can see by looking at it, it is not oriented correctly for any side. But, as we saw a minute ago, by performing a conjugate and moving this white sticker up to the top, it would make this piece now oriented correctly, and I would be able to move it where it belongs. Okay? So, um, all three of these corners allow me to begin my commutator. And that's what we're going to be looking for as we solve the cube. We're always going to be looking for good pieces. Okay? A good piece is a piece that allows me to begin my commutator. Okay? And except that there's one other condition that I haven't mentioned to you. Okay? Having a piece oriented correctly is not enough. Okay? There's one other condition that has to exist. The corner that you're trying to begin with, so let's look at this red, white, and blue piece for a second. Okay? It needs to be oriented, but it also has to be adjacent to where it belongs. And when I say adjacent, I mean it has to be next to the corner where it's going to move to. This red, white, and blue piece is adjacent to where it belongs, because we know that piece is going to move here when we perform our commutator. So that's good. Okay, this corner satisfies the requirements. It's oriented right, and it is next to where it belongs. It is adjacent. Okay, but let's say this red, white, and blue corner belonged here. Well, that would not be adjacent, would it? No, that would be across from where it belonged. And that would make this not a good piece. We wouldn't be able to use it to start our commutator. Let's look at this second piece. We said this, cor uh, this corner is oriented correctly for the red side, right? Is it adjacent to where it belongs? Yes, it is. And that's why we can use it. Again, this piece is next to where it belongs, and so we're allowed to use it. Let's look at this third corner. This is the orange, blue, and white. Right now, this corner, white, orange, and blue, is located across from where it belongs. As you can see, orange and blue, yeah, orange and blue, this piece belongs here. And across, we said, is no good. We need it to be adjacent. But, if you'll remember, this piece is not oriented correctly. So in order to make it oriented correctly, we had to perform that conjugate by bringing the white sticker up to the white side. And when we do that, when we move that piece across, it now becomes adjacent to where it belongs. So it was across, but now it's next to where it belongs. And that's what makes this third corner a good corner. Okay? We won't always have good corners, and that's the reason why I'm taking time to show you these different situations. And we're going to continue with that in our next video, uh, looking at some more situations for three-corner commutators and three-corner conjugates. Uh, before you move on, though, to part seven, I would strongly suggest practicing a couple more of these situations that we've gone through. Feel free to go back and uh, just get comfortable with this. And uh, if you haven't mastered the left side commutator, I would suggest taking some time and doing that as well. And then when you're feeling confident and ready, go ahead and click here for part seven.